In September 2013, residents in the Peruvian Amazon have made an amazing discovery. The men found a large anaconda resting on the edge of the river Momon in Iquitos after it had eaten an animal. Unfortunately, after catching the snake, the residents killed the reptile and posed for photographs next to it. A giant python in Indonesia met an unfortunate end when it was eaten after it lost a battle with a local man. 37-year-old security guard Robert Nababan encountered the snake on a palm oil plantation road in Sumatra's Batang Gansal district in October 2017. Mr. Nababan tried to catch the python, which was 23 feet long. It attacked him, and the man and reptile fought until Mr. Nababan killed it with the help of some villagers. The guard survived with serious injuries. The python was not as lucky as Mr. Nababan. Its body was strung up for display at a village before it was chopped up, fried, and eaten. The local police said that the python had sunk its fangs into the guard's left arm and nearly severed it. He was taken to a hospital in Pikanburu city, where he is still recovering. At a construction site on the Malaysian island of Penang, workers caught an enormous python reported to measure 26 feet in length and weighed about 250 kilograms. The reticulated python was spotted curled under a tree by workers on a building site for a new flyover in Paya Terubong on the popular holiday island of Penang on April 7, 2016. The staff called Civil Defense Department personnel who took about 30 minutes to capture the snake. They later posed for photographs that illustrated the creature's size. Although it hasn't been officially measured by record keepers, the python would break the Guinness World Record held by a captive snake named Medusa. Medusa lives in Missouri and is kept on show at the Edge of Hell haunted house in Kansas City. She was measured at 25 feet 2 inches in length in the 2011 edition and still holds the title. Both Medusa and the newly discovered snake are reticulated pythons, a species native to Southeast Asia. The Penang snake was, regardless, very large, but unfortunately, it is no more. After being caught, it gave birth to one egg and then died, likely due to the stress of captivity. There are stories circulating that it was repeatedly kicked and savagely handled. The poor snake was put inside a very small cage and people would come and take many selfies. While taking selfies with animals does not come under the rubric of animal cruelty, there are limits to the posing for photographs and pics. After a while, the animal gets irritated and may even suffer dire consequences. These creatures ought to be left alone. On Sunday, March 26, 2017, a body of a missing Indonesian man was found inside a giant python on the island of Sulawesi. 25-year-old Akbar Salubiro had been missing for 24 hours after leaving to harvest palm oil on his family's plantation. A search conducted by police found a 23-foot-long python motionless in a ditch nearby. After cutting the snake open, the man's body was reportedly found inside. Capable of reaching lengths of over 32 feet, reticulated pythons are the longest snakes in the world. They are non-venomous constrictors that suffocate their prey before swallowing them whole. Cases of people killed and eaten by pythons are extremely rare, and they are generally not considered a danger to human settlements, which they tend to avoid. Another similar attack on a human took place on another Indonesian island in June 2018. 54-year-old Wa Tiba left her home on Muna Island to visit her cornfield on June 14th, Thursday night. 
The field was about a half a mile from her house, surrounded by cliffs and caves. When she hadn't returned the following morning, her sister went to look for her. She found only Tibba's footprints, her flashlight, her machete, and slippers. By around 9 a.m. that same morning, her family and nearly 100 other villagers mounted a search and discovered a 23-foot-long reticulated python about 150 feet away from her belongings. The snake was so bloated it could barely move. The villagers promptly killed the snake and carried it back to the village. Assuming the worst, they decided to slice open the python's belly with a machete and found Tiba's body still intact with all her clothes. Wa Tiba received a burial ceremony later that afternoon in keeping with local religious customs. A huge Brazilian anaconda was captured in a jaw-dropping video while a trio of fishermen pulled it out of the river water. The serpent is seen moving away from the tiny boat and its belly appearing full of what must have been a massive lunch not long earlier. One man on a boat felt it was the perfect opportunity to prove he was brave and grab the snake's tail. Anacondas are some of the largest snakes in the world, and although they are not venomous, this particular snake's size would be enough to make anyone run away. Local media reported the three individuals in the video were Serle Oliveira, husband Bettino Borges, and Rodrigo Santos, a friend. They were on a small boat on the Santa Maria River in Mato Grosso do Sol, a southwestern state in Brazil, and each individual has been fined $600 by environmental police for their careless act. They have also been charged and face up to 18 months in jail for violating a law that prohibits chasing or hunting wildlife without a license. This is the terrifying moment a 33-foot-long anaconda was found by terrified builders on a construction site in Brazil. The huge reptile, which weighs in at a whopping 400 kilograms, was discovered by the workers after they carried out a controlled explosion in the cave of Altamira in the northern state of Para. Video footage taken by one of the crew pans down the snake's enormous body, which measures one meter in diameter. After making the frightening discovery, the workers chained the animal to a crate and later lifted it up to reveal its yellow spotted underbelly. It's claimed the builders killed the snake rather than leave it in its natural habitat. Others believe the animal may have died in an explosion, possibly being hit by falling debris, as its head appeared to be flat in the video footage. In 1959, Remy van Leerd, as full colonel, commanded the airbase at Kamina in the Belgian Congo. In the Katanga region of the Democratic Republic of Congo, returning from a mission by helicopter, he claimed to have seen a giant Congo snake emerging from a hole as he flew over the forests. He described the snake as being close to 50 feet in length, earning its place among the largest snakes ever reported. Upon the discovery, he then turned around and made several passes over the snake at a lower altitude in order to allow another person on board to photograph the creature. Van Leerd claims that as he flew lower for a closer inspection, the snake rose up approximately 10 feet, giving the impression it would have attacked the helicopter if it had been within striking range. He later described the giant snake as having a dark shade of green and brown with a white-colored belly and claimed the snake's head was three feet wide and that the jaws were of a triangular shape. Multiple experts and zoologists analyzed several of his pictures of the giant Congo snake and have verified them as authentic. They verified the size of the serpent by comparison analysis to the ground features around the snake. Titanoboa is an extinct snake which lived approximately 60 million years ago during the Paleogene period. Its fossils were first discovered in coal mines in La Gurajira, Colombia in 2009. 
Later that year, it was given its name, a name which means Titanic Boa. Titanoboa was approximately 50 foot long and weighed around 2,500 pounds. To put that into perspective, that is twice as long as the longest snake living today and four times as heavy as the giant anaconda. It is definitely a snake that you wouldn't want to meet.